Meantime, a call for peace and answers tonight, nearly a thousand miles away from Ferguson. Yeah, people in Colorado Springs say their hearts are hurting for Brown's family and an outraged community. Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Allen was at tonight's vigil and joins us in the newsplex. Emily. James and Heather, 60 people stood in solidarity at the parking lot of the NAACP. They want Michael Brown's family to know that they stand with him. I am Michael Brown. His real name is Damian Buford II, but he says he could have been Michael Brown. I am that black teen. I am that son. And it could have been me. It could have been any one of these people out here. But it happened to tragically be Michael Brown. So when I say I am Michael Brown, we are Michael Brown, we stand united as one. Michael Brown was shot and killed by a police officer in Ferguson, Missouri. Since then, there have been violent riots in the streets. The president of the Colorado Springs chapter of the NAACP says it's an issue about race and police brutality. And our police has got so fearful of citizens that they think that's the only way to come out is to be aggressive toward African American uh, uh, men and women. Uh, you know, that, that there's that stigma that the African American male is a violent, aggressive person. People have also been writing messages on this board. The NAACP plans to send these to the Brown family in Ferguson. Anyone should want to come together with that family. People stood at the podium to share their condolences. One man in uniform didn't speak up, but he stood out. The reason I showed up is I wanted to show the young people that we're all in this together, uh, no matter what race. Nationality, we're all in this together. And 24 years ago, when I took this oath, it's to serve and protect all, not just a few, everybody. As we have a moment of silence for Mike Brown to honor him and his family. At the end of the vigil, the crowd faced east with their hearts towards Ferguson and their candles raised. This crowd hopes the flame burning for change here and throughout the country doesn't die. The NAACP chapter here also did record some of that vigil. They do plan to share that with the chapter in Ferguson to show their support. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. Thanks.